All right, so moving on to the next segment, we're going to switch gears here to the NFL. Should the Dallas Cowboys re-sign Dak Prescott? So this is becoming a development now because here we are once again. Just like we were in 2020, Dak Prescott is looking for a new contract. And my thoughts on this situation as Dak Prescott could potentially be entering his final year in Dallas as America's quarterback, the franchise guy for the Dallas Cowboys. I've always been a firm believer in Dak Prescott. And I love the guy. And as you guys see behind me, the poster is there. But in terms of re-signing Dak Prescott, I believe it is best for him this time around to earn the contract rather than just give it to him based off of what you've done in the regular season. Because... I really believe we should just re, uh, revisit this conversation once the NFL season ends this upcoming year. If Dak Prescott cannot get us to the NFC Championship or the Super Bowl, if he can't appear in one of those two playoff games this year, there's no reason to bring back Dak Prescott. He's 2-5 and five in the postseason, heading into his ninth NFL season. The man has had all the chances in the world to get it done at least make it to the NFC Conference, at least make it to the Super Bowl with a lot of talented rosters. Going 12-5 and five, three years in a row and not making an NFC Championship Conference game appearance is not acceptable anymore. And don't get me wrong, the NFL will be lucky to have Dak Prescott. Any franchise in the NFL is a top-tier talent. We all know this. And Dak Prescott is so smart at the line of scrimmage, he reminds me of NFL Hall of Famers of Peyton Manning and Drew Brees, audible at the line of scrimmage, changing plays on the fly, reading the defenses. He's it's a smart guy, smart football guy. And as a, uh, he's also a successful regular season guy. But that's the difference between the greats and the good ones. The greats ascend their game to the next level in the postseason, just like they did in the regular season. Dak Prescott has failed to duplicate his success in the regular season and bring that to the playoffs and the seven playoff games that he's been a part of in his NFL career thus far. So I, I, I can't give him, if I'm Jerry Jones, I don't see a reason why to give Dak Prescott a, a monster contract that could affect the rest of the team in this particular situation. Because I'm looking at this Dallas Cowboys team and Dak Prescott, or well, excuse me, Dak Prescott and Patrick Mahomes, their stats, if, if I compared, the, if I read you guys these stats, Dak Prescott had, has better stats than Patrick Mahomes in their last in his last 30 starts. Dak Prescott has 64 passing touchdowns, a completion percentage of 68 percent, a QBR of 101.9, and a record of 21 wins and nine losses in his last 30 starts. Now compare that to Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes has 60 passing touchdowns, a QBR of 97.9, a record of 22 wins and 8 losses. The difference is Dak Prescott has the better numbers, but Patrick Mahomes is a guy that can translate his game from the regular season into the postseason. And that is why Patrick Mahomes is one of the most clutch players in NFL history, already an all-time great. And the difference between Patrick Mahomes' stats and Dak Prescott if you want to know the real difference, one is successful in the postseason. That's re the reason why Patrick Mahomes has won back-to-back -back Super Bowls compared to what Dak Prescott does in the playoffs. So I, I, that's the whole thing about it. You can be a top 10 guy all you want. You can do all the successful things in the regular season. You can't get it done in the postseason. What does it really mean? If you can't win a Super Bowl with the, uh, the gifted, talented roster that the Dallas Cowboys have on a yearly basis, what is it, what, what is it going to do for us? And this is why I said Dak Prescott, if he can't improve his play, if, if he can't improve in the playoffs, get us to one of those two games this year, or let alone win a, one of those games, I don't believe it's worth paying him the money because looking at this roster, why would you overpay for Dak Prescott when you got to you got to re-sign C.D. Lamb, who is missing in action, has not been around the Dallas Cowboys facility uh, for training camp as he looks for a new deal. Michael Parsons, his rookie deal is going to be up soon. Zach Martin, one of the greatest uh, linemen that I have seen this past decade in the NFL. Demarcus Lawrence is also a game changer on the on the other side of the defensive end with Michael Parsons. You got a lot of true game changers that I just mentioned: a C.D. Lamb, Michael Parsons, Zach Martin, and Demarcus Lawrence. And 
you could possibly lose two two out of the four players that I just named if you give Dak Prescott another monster contract. I just don't see the point of doing it if he doesn't get to the NFC Championship or the Super Bowl, being two and five in the playoffs, and you just, you could possibly lose several pieces for paying for a, a Tony Romo 2.0, another talented guy in the regular season that made magical plays, but it was time to bring bring it all to the table, bring it all to the dance. He was a choke artist. And if you want to get technical about it, Dak Prescott is doing the same exact thing that Tony Romo did, just with a better track record in the regular season and much better regular season team. So those are my thoughts on that. I love the guy, but I would not get, I would not bring out that paycheck if I were Jerry Jones and Dak Prescott cannot get to an NFC Championship game or a Super Bowl appearance this upcoming NFL season.